I'm going to do a lot in this video. I'm going to factorize, solve, and sketch a cubic all in one go. So, show that x plus 1 is a factor of f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. Then, fully factorize it. I'm going to do some polynomial division to do that. Find the x-intercepts, find the y-intercepts, and then sketch it. So, to show that x plus 1 is a factor, I'll know that if I put in negative 1 for x, if f of x is equal to 0 at that point, then x plus 1 is a factor. So, step 1, sub um, x equals negative 1, the opposite of that, into f of x. So, in other words, I'm saying f of negative 1 equals negative 1 cubed minus 4 times negative 1 squared plus 4 plus 6. Uh, type that into your calculator and I feel very, very confident that the answer is going to be... Oops, that should be x, shouldn't it? I feel very, very confident that the answer is going to be 0, therefore x plus 1 is a factor. So, if x plus 1 is a factor, that means that x plus 1 times something else will give me this. And so if I take this and divide it by this, I'll find out what the something else is. And for that we do polynomial division. So, uh, x plus 1, make sure I'm not falling off your screen, that looks alright. x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. If you feel confident, you can just fast forward through this part of the video. x cubed divided by x is x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 1 is um, x squared. Subtract 1 from the other. Uh, x cubed minus x cubed. Minus 4x squared minus plus x squared is minus 5x squared. Bring the x down. Negative 5x squared divided by x is negative 5x. Negative 5x times x is negative 5x squared. Uh, negative 5x times 1 is negative 5x. Uh, subtract. Make sure you're careful with your subtraction. Negative 5x squared minus minus 5x squared is 0. x minus minus 5x is 6x. Bring our x down here. 6x divided by x is uh, 6. 6 times x is 6x, 6, 6 times 1 is 6, remainder 0, finished. Okay, so, oops, I have fallen off your screen. x squared minus 5x plus 6. So, now I can rewrite f of x as f of x equals uh, x plus 1 times that new thing, x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay, now it says fully factorize, and we should look at x squared minus 5x plus 6 and realize that that is a quadratic that can also be rewritten as a set of brackets, uh, probably negative 2 and negative 3. Okay, so f of x is equal to x plus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3. We're saying this is the same as this. I have now fully factorized it. Now, my next step or my next part of this question was to find the x-intercepts and to find x-intercepts you all know now let y equal 0. So if I let f of x equal 0, I have 0 equals x plus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, Something times something times something equals zero. That means that that's not, that must be equal to zero, that must be equal to zero, or that must be equal to zero. If that's true, then our answers are x equals negative one, or x equals positive two, or x equals positive three. So there are my uh, three answers. I did it by just saying x plus 1 equals 0, so x equals negative 1. x minus 2 equals 0, so x equals 2. x minus 3 equals 0, so x equals 3. So those are my x-intercepts. If I was to sketch f of x, it's also just um, the solution to 0 equals that. 
find y intercept. I've thrown this in as a bit of a trick question. Uh, to find the y intercept, do this down here somewhere. Just move over here. To find y intercepts, we let x equal 0. Now, you can do it in here. In this case, it's going to be um, 0 plus 1, so that's 1. 0 minus 2, that's minus 2. 0 minus 3. If you put 0 in there, you're going to get a y value. Therefore, y equals 6. You can put it in there, and it works. It gives you y equals 6. You could also just put it into here, because remember, that's the same as that. 0 cubed minus 4 times 0 squared plus 0 plus 6. The y intercept is 6. All right, finally, uh, I can pretty much sketch this now. So it has x-intercepts at negative 1, 2, here at 2 and 3. It has a y intercept at positive 6. Okay, and it is a cubic function, which we haven't spent a lot of time talking about, but a cubic function has a shape that looks something like that. And so now I just need to join up my dots. Okay, in future, probably term two, term three, you'll figure out how to find the turning points of a cubic as well, but we're not going to be able to find the turning points at this stage. We don't, we're going to be content with y-intercepts and x-intercepts and with a rough shape of what a cubic is. All right, a lot of skills in one video, factorising, solving and sketching a cubic.